today I'll be taking you through the tutorial, giving you a few tips here and there that I've found after playing the game uh, over the last few days of its release. And uh, yeah, it's a stunning game. It's set in a, a sort of Cold War era and uh, there's a lot of cool things going on. It's, as I said, it's rather rather bleak beyond the light that you can see and I think that certainly adds to the game overall. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. You can see here the centre building is our central hub, a multi-purpose building with the foundations for our base. It produces a small amount of power and oxygen. There's plenty of information in this screen and we will be taking, uh, taking steps through every single one of them. First thing I want to show you is the subs. We have several subs around our hub here. Uh, three mining subs that are just really cool looking. At the back here, we've got a transportation sub, a missing sub that we will be adding later on in the tutorial. And at the other side, we have our two construction submarines. Again, I think this game is just visually beautiful and there's so much more to uh, be discovered here. So let's just hit play and uh, get into it. Okay, what's the first thing that it is going to throw at us? Well, it's going to tell us that 12 crew are unemployed, 3 of the mining subs are idle, and 1 power generator is without power lines. We'll be fixing all of that throughout the tutorial. To give you a quick rundown of the UI, important things you may need to know. At the bottom left corner, the simple, most easiest part of any strategy game is, of course, the, uh, the days, the time. You can pause it. Hit play and go to two times or three times speed. There is also a wee box for tutorials. Brings up this screen. And to be honest, you can learn absolutely everything you need to know about the game from here. It even gives you really visual handy guides as well. But I'll be taking you through every single one of them in future videos. But for the tutorial, uh, let's jump right back. And I'll show you the rest of the UI. At the top left corner, we can see the crew relation effectors. We can see the population, how many crew we have, the food supply, as well as what we produce, days remaining and food consumed per day. The types of genomes, that'll be useful for the cloning processes later on in the game. We have scrap steel, one of your primary resources, as well as concrete. Quartz glass, we've got iron, aluminium. Copper, lead, and uh, coal, very important power source, as well as oil. And below it, all the information you need to know. At the top left, right corner, we have power and oxygen and research data. Then we've got this wee handy screen in the middle for building power lines, tunnels, buildings, also your mission log, your technology tree, cloning, and submarine information. At the bottom right corner that you can't see behind me is some lenses that you can uh, cycle through, and uh, they're pretty self-explanatory and straightforward okay go let the game play play on until it gives us our next objective you can see here that we are in the midst of just a, a absolute abyss as the name may suggest you can kind of see creepy things off into the distance um creatures and just other worldly things the music of this game is beautiful surreal and rather scary at times uh, especially if you've got a fear of deep water which i I pretty much do have thalassophobia, so uh, that is the fear of deep water for anyone wondering. Okay, we've got our first objective. Greetings over Seer. Oh, I'm getting Fallout vibes. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to love this game. This message is from the command station, 7,861 meters above you. We hope you got settled in okay. In the coming days and weeks, you'll need to figure out how to supply power, oxygen, and food. Obviously, the colors all coordinating with the UI. And get a stable supply of fuel and building materials. Once basic infrastructure is established, our first big milestone will be a fully functional cloning lab. Good luck, Overseer. Your work that you're undertaking will benefit all of humanity. Nice. Okay. Let the game play on, and uh, we'll get our first uh, real objective. Okay. So we need to get a regular supply of building resources and fuel. Obviously resources all being all these orange uh, re resources there. And fuel being the last two here. Setting up a mining relay and assigning all available subs to it. Okay, that's pretty easy. We just drop down to the buildings. And uh, the first one here, resources. You can check out all the other ones listed here. And uh, the mining relay, it doesn't require any power, any oxygen, or any crew. It allows mining subs to gather small resource deposits within its area of effect. The effect being, uh, it'll light up anything in uh, the vicinity. And at the right 
side you can see all the resources so in this case we would have access to 64 concrete some iron and some coal and uh we can move it about to see what all uh we can get you can see that the wee hexagons run out at a uh, certain point here or sorry octagons uh, they have eight sides don't they they do indeed so the reason they run out is you actually need light light is kind of the boundary you can't really build anything in the darkness at this point um and then there's some terrain that is obviously completely invalid oh no it says i actually i actually could place it outside but you'd probably be best placing it where you can get visible light okay so steel quartz glass let's see if we can get something that has everything I mean, well, we need coal, so this side is definitely going to be where we want to go. This will get us two bits of coal. Okay, we'll place it, and it deploys the wee relay here. Quite cool. It'll float up. Clicking on it, we can assign all of our subs, um, or you can assign them to collect just particular resources, but we'll just assign them all just to the area at the moment. Ah, we got uh, 15 data research points because of that. Nice. And you'll see the subs go off to do their little bit of mining. It gives me kind of a... Uh, not movie Atlantis where they had the, the wee subs. Lost City, Lost City of Atlantis, that was it. Um, that, that's exactly what these wee subs remind me of. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Okay, so next up, power and oxygen. Central Hub produces both, but we're going to need more continuing into the next phase of construction. Build an oxygen generator and a coal generator to get us started. Nice. So I'll give you our, all our objectives here. Let's go to buildings and uh, we can go to power first and we'll get a coal uh, power plant. As you can see, it needs oxygen, certain number of crew. Uh, that wee blue symbol, as you can see, on the crew required is in fact that you can give a specialist to it. Uh, I believe that specialist would be an engineer. Um, we get one later on in the tutorial. You can see the building costs. It's going to cost us eight, uh, eight concrete to build this. And uh, a wee bit of a impact on air quality, but power output is what we need it for. And the placing of this, you may be wondering what all these dash lines are. Well, you can rotate it using the R key. And uh, you can see here that when it lights up green, it means you can join directly into a tunnel. Now, of course, you could just place it here. And uh, th that's actually not a problem at all. Or you can place it close enough that uh, it will actually just be part of the system. Uh, yeah, if you just placed it there, it, one of the tunnels would automatically be connected to the hub. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it just a wee bit out here. Uh, let's see, we'll place it. Uh, we'll, we'll just place it right there. Why not? Okay. Now, we need to place a tunnel over to it. So let's go to tunnels or we quick key right beside the buildings key is this one and for the tunnel just need the standard one left click and bam there we go so we've connected our uh, power cool generator up and uh, our construction subs will carry out a building up now we do need a bit of life support so we do need an oxygen generator now for that i will be placing it relatively close over over here and again we need a tunnel to connect it so got that all connected up I could, of course, place it over here, and as long as it's connected to the coal generator, you know, they're all within the one system. So that's uh, one way that can certainly work. Uh, with that, they are going to build them, and we have to build a power line and tunnel to the oxygen generator. Okay, so power lines, pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. We can place them here under underneath. Oh, yep. There we go. And all of the yellow squares will be, or yellow octagons is where we will be able to get power. Now, of course, connecting to the central hub, we can bring another power cable out. And actually see it sits underneath the tunnels. I tend to run the power lines underneath the tunnels purely for aesthetics. You don't have to do that. Um, you can build this whatever way you want. It's completely uh, free and up to you. Of course, you can hit uh, the middle mouse button if you want to rotate around. You can get a good view. And uh, sh sorting through some of the lenses, there's actually a lens at the bottom right corner called the crew lens. And if you do that, you can see where all your crew are and you can click on them uh, 
Well, you can't really click on them, but you can see whereabouts they all are. Now, considering the buildings are being auto-assigned at the moment, the coal generator does indeed have uh, three crew automatically assigned and uh, not minus, obviously, the uh, the engineer slot. Efficiency, 60%. And we can see in the oxygen, it also got two crew assigned to it. Okay. Now, be sure to keep an eye out on the subs. Once they finish mining everything, we will need to move the relay. Our next objective, we need to think about consistent food supply. Food being very important to keep everyone alive. A carbohydrate farm will be simple to build and will provide us with a large supply of low quality food. This may affect crew morale as nobody really wants to eat low quality food. But eventually um, we can get, uh, we can lock better food, uh, higher quality. Uh, it will of course impact their health as well. Use the tech tree to uh, unlock it. Tech tree down here in the middle, and of course, we can uh, go over to the carbohydrate farm, hit unlock, and it will provide us with this. Again, we need eight iron to do this, and uh, low quality food production is what we gain from it. It needs one power and one oxygen. We have ample amounts of both, so we can get straight into it with, uh, with constructing our... Uh, where to put? Where to go? Oh, there it is. It's in uh, life support. Okay, now, where you put it, again, completely up to yourself. I will actually show you what a diagonal tunnel looks like. Let's, uh, let's get the tunnels here. Eh, we diagonal one. And, of course, if I didn't even want to build that tunnel, another solution would have been just to connect here to the oxygen. I've actually just done that, just to link them all up. I think it looks really, uh, aesthetically, uh, pleasing, so, uh, I will leave it as that. And uh, do remember that the power lines do, whilst they do build instantly, they do require scrap steel. And uh, steel will be one of the important resources that we will be making later on. As we want to manufacture essentially everything. And uh, resource management is a top priority in this game. Without a doubt, that can't be understated. I actually lost the tutorial because I played it a little... Uh, I, I just let it run on too long and I was burning through a lot of resources and uh, where your crew's based, sometimes you will have to unassign a person or two from a facility, loss in efficiency, but if you're generating enough, for example, if I remove, if I remove a crew here from this, it halves our output of oxygen, of course you don't want to do that, so we will throw someone back in there. Uh, you can get a wee bit of information on the crew. Uh, sustenance, oxygen levels, health, and they're just a generalist, so they can do really anything. Ah, food supplies. Okay, we've finished that. And we are curr currently uh, consuming three coal per day, but we have a gather rate of 36, which, of course, means uh, we're not running out of coal anytime soon. But always be sure to keep an eye on it. We can only store up to a maximum of 100, so we'll have to play about with, uh, with storage eventually, too. Okay, next one, we've opted to send down additional four crew members to assist your endeavours. Now, I, they may tweak the tutorial into the future. I've been seeing a lot of comments um, on the Steam page, especially mentioning that uh, there's not enough crew at a certain point in the tutorial, which you will see. Uh, obviously, I know how, to avo you know how we would avoid a, a serious situation like that. Again, it may be tweaked. But uh, once you get the cloning process, you can add a lot of new crew members. So, you know, it kind of balances out, I would imagine. Uh, but obviously, you just need to play the game and stabilize your situation uh, to keep on going. Before we send them down, we expect the food situation to be stable and adequate housing facilities. Two living quarters and a stockpile of 75 food will ensure we can sustain a larger workforce. Okay, so building the work, the living quarters, that's easy and stockpile 75. But we have a next objective. Overseer, we need to locate larger deposits of resources, extraction points. Um, essentially, they provide unlimited resources once you build uh, the appropriate facility above it. These extraction points should show up in sonar scans. To do that, we need a sonar tower. Okay, so we'll need to build that as well. I'll actually get the tower up and running as the priority, as we're still generating food and we aren't at 75 yet, so the living quarters it doesn't matter just right now. Uh, the sonar tower... As you can see, has a rather massive radius, and we can just about build it wherever. I like to build it kind of close to the edge here of the darkness. Uh, so we'll be placing it there, and they will start uh, start construction of it. 
be sure to power down the sonar tower once we use it. That's my only thing that I forgot all about and I didn't power it down so it was eating quite a lot of my power output and I had to build more coal plants and it was a whole mess in one of my first runs of the tutorial. And look at this little cool guy. This is a spider crab. European spider crab is a species of migratory crab found in the Northeast Atlantic and the Mediterranean Sea. Despite the look of the European spider crab being similar, much larger than the Japanese crab, they are completely different species. It's quite cool. Um, there's also fish, octopus and all that just kind of wanders about and really dangerous creatures, which really ramps up the experience of the game. Okay, so sonar tower is under construction. If at, if at any stage you can, of course, speed up the game uh, if you're waiting on something being built. Though do do remember that, uh, of course, that will feed into uh, some of your stockpiles of resources getting quite full as well. So uh, you have to balance things out. Let's get uh, some living quarters. That should be handy enough. Uh, we will build, let's see, one there. And one there. Okay. And we could we could build a wee junction for the tunnels. That that could certainly be the case. So we could build that. And then bam. Bam. And heck, you could even build a tunnel through the middle and eventually have like maybe another living quarters or connect it like that. The world is your oyster on what you can do. Or the sea floor is your oyster. Similar saying, I guess. Uh, the transportation sub doesn't really come into effect. It ferries between different docks, um, allowing crew to move between tunnel networks. You eventually do that because the air quality, obviously having a coal generator, uh, the air quality isn't great. Oxygen lens is something you can swap to. Um, the air quality is still pretty good at the moment, but once we get some facilities such as the blast furnace to make steel, uh, it drops considerably. And uh, you will see that later on uh, in the game. Okay. The sonar tower is not working. Now, why do you think it's not working? Well, that's because we do not have a power line connected directly to it. Now that we have fixed that problem, I will also have to get a power line out to there and one to there. Okay, so everything is still connected to the power plant. You may be wondering what exactly are all the mining things going over to. This is a building material stockpile. It holds 50 of each type of resource up here. And they've been slowly filling it and uh, taking everything away. How is the resource thing going? Uh, they've mined a good bit of uh, coal, some iron, and some concrete, but still plenty left in that vicinity. Uh, the sonar tower is finished. So... Let's see, we can locate a fuel extraction point using the beacon. You can find research or resource beacons, uh, points of interest or habitat beacons. So you can use it for whatever you're looking for. At the moment we need fuel and uh, we can see detection. Oh, detection's quite high over here. Uh, so we'll deploy it right there. And what did that find us? There we go. It's went out. Coal extraction point 236 meters away as well as a small deposit. Okay, uh, in the same way we could use the resource one. It'll release that and we can see a coal deposit and a small scrap steel deposit over here. Right, we've done that. We're close to stockpiling the 75 food. Let's have a look at our next objective. Our sonar tower has located a nearby resource extraction point. It appears to be coal. As it is located in the darkness, we must first construct a light tower. Once the area is lit, we can build a solar extractor on the extraction point. Right. So, we need light. Light can be found over here in the exploration tab. We could, of course, build this, uh, well, anywhere. But the cool, uh, oh, sonar beacons, oh, it's recharging. That's it. So, the extraction point is here. We want to build it relatively close. So, we'll build it there. That should be pretty pretty handy. You can build in the darkness. I, I don't know why I said you couldn't. Uh, the subs can go out and do it. I imagine there is a dangerous factor to it if you get a wee bit later into the game. Uh, but doesn't stop the sub going out here. Building a wee light tower so we can uh, see what all is around. Oh, small iron deposit. And we discovered a few more. The sonar tower does need to eventually uh, recharge. 
But uh, I think we can get one more, see if there's a wee point of interest. Oh, there's a low chance. Let's see what point of interest we can find. Unpause the game. A cave system. Nice. Any more over here? No, another one. Oh, let's see, it's going to need to recharge now for a bit. What's it going to find? Oh. Where did it find the point of interest? Oh, it's over here. A brine pool. Nice. Sometimes you can find sunken subs and uh, plenty of other things, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. How goes the light tower? Construction is basically complete. At the power line, we can actually run it out from here, and that'll save us a bit of steel from the sonar tower, instead of running it out from the main hub. And bam, there we go, it has lit up a new area, and from here we can see a coal extraction point. Infinite coal, nice. Okay, so we need to unlock the coal extractor in the tech tree and build a coal extractor. Okay, that's easy. Onto the tech tree, again it also has its own sections, resources, power, uh, life support population, exploration, research, and genetics, and also has plenty of tiers. But that's a lot of information that we don't need to get into just yet. Now, let's jump over to resources. We will need a coal extractor. It gathers large coal from deposits, so let's unlock it. We need two power, one oxygen, and three crew, and ten concrete. Okay. Let's go over to resources and get our extractor, placing it down here. There we go. Now we'll let our builders go over. Yep, there he is. Going to get it all sorted. Oh, I like to use the sonar tower every time it's off just to see what, what more we can find. Can we find resources? Oh, medium. There we go. And we'll also see if we can find a habitat location. Oh, what have we found here? Another cool extraction point. That's very good to know that's there. We will need it for the tutorial, but there we go. An uncommon habitat and another uncommon to habitat. Find over here. Very good. Once it recharges again, there we go. I might try to find one a little closer here. They're still building away at that. 90% construction. Where's this... A rare habitat. Nice. Uh, that's that's really good. Obviously better than uncommon one. So we'll be putting our resources in that direction. We've still five crew that are unemployed, but I'm sure they will live and uh, we can continue on. How's the food situation going? Yeah, production is still going away. You can click on any of these buildings to see their production. Uh, for example, this one every 10 seconds. It's building... Or it's... Uh, producing some food it's producing actually 10 low quality food per day we only consume oh we actually consume 12 per day we're going down oh right um hmm normally we tend to to get more food uh, i've seen it increasing to 69 so i'm not sure why the food per day has uh, increased so much we have built you but you're not functioning and there is a reason for that well firstly it's power line now, the power line is operating. You might be wondering, well, there's something else wrong. Very true. It needs O2. The only way to get O2 is by get via a tunnel. Oh, there we go. Build a tunnel around there. Now, it's going to be quite a long tunnel here, but we can get it out. Uh, build it up to here. No. Yeah. Come up. There we go. So, yes, it's a rather long tunnel, I know, but you could have also been able to ferry uh, people over with a transport submarine, but we don't need to do that. So, what will this give us? Uh, in an, in, if this mission is to succeed, we need research. Uh, we must adapt to life, building a research lab and staffing it with crew will generate research data. And we can also attach uh, to our research labs additional uh, modules. They give extra daily uh, data here you can check up here once we've built it so let's get a basic research lab going it's uh, on the research tab and a pretty big building i wonder what, where would it be a good fit i wonder well we could build it here 
we could connect the tunnel to this junction. This junction's been incredibly useful to keep the aesthetics of this going. And, uh, oh, we can actually see the crew walking down three of them to their new home where they're going to work in the coal extractor plant. Now, it does damage, well, not damage, it provides really low air quality. And again, if we swap over to the oxygen lens, the air quality is dropping, but it isn't too low just yet. Uh, they're constructing the lab. Let's see. We have the utmost faith in you to lead a mission, but a project like this requires many great minds. We're planning to send them down a specialist engineer to help set up the facility. Before we go ahead, we need to see progress and you need to stockpile 80 coal to ensure the continued mission. Okay, well, if we wanted to speed that up, we could, of course, go over to the boy and we could uh, unassign them and tell them we only want them to mine, for example, coal. And that's it. Uh, we are also running out of scrap steel, so uh, that is something that we also need to sort out. Basic research lab is finishing. Oh, we got our extra crew. Nice. Very nice. So yeah, we, we must have been producing more than the food we were consuming. I don't know how that works. Because I thought we couldn't. But it's working, and I'm happy about that. Might need another carbohydrate farm, but of course, if I wanted to, I could go into the tech tree and go over to food. Completely alien to the uh, <laughs> the tutorial here. I'm going to show you exactly what I would uh, go over and be doing. Oh, you can set up a main mess hall. What's that? Uh, provides recreation to your crew. Nice. Okay, back to life support. Protein harvester. Uh, harvest fauna to produce high quality food. Um, that is something, of course, we could unlock. Uh, coal efficiency and a few other ones. Now, you can go, obviously, crazy in what you want to research. We are minus three on the par at the moment, which means something needs to be turned off. Uh, we'll use it, certainly, before we, uh... We want to... Oh, none of interest. None, 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 none. Habitats... Okay, you need to recharge, and with you recharging, I'm actually going to power you off up here. That gives us two extra power, but we actually, yep, puts us positive three again, which is good to see. So be sure to turn that off once you've found a lot. We, we actually found an awful lot. Uh, common habitat that's relatively close, another common one. Coal extraction. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got that rare one, way, but it might be too far away for the tutorial here. Um, so I might stick to one of the closer ones. If we can get a close, uncommon one, one right over there, that might be our best bet. Okay, we need genetic material, and we must locate a habitat and build a fauna trap on it. Okay. Or I wonder, well, I suppose because I don't need to connect a tunnel to it, maybe over here near the rare one might indeed be the best. Right. Uh, to build the light tower, we need steel. Okay, so we've kind of completely run out of steel here. Uh, so, uh, we completed the objective for coal. I'm actually going to get the resource beacon here. I need steel. Um, steel, iron, quartz, concrete, steel. Yeah, we'll put the boy over there for now. Actually, I'll tell them all just to go for steel. And uh, we'll start harvesting steel. Uh, we've pinpointed the location of a habitat. Uh, we must make preparations for the cloning process. Cloning being a, the backbone of this entire game. Uh, we build a fauna trap and capture our first genome samples. In addition, begin construction of our cloning lab. Nice. Okay, you... Uh, I can't really toggle you off. Assumed you just kind of disappear after a while. I can't actually remember. Oh, we can just destroy you. There we go. He's gone. You can, of course, set one back up. That's not a problem. Uh, but these guys will get us some more scrap steel that we desperately need. Build a fauna trap. Right. Well, steel, again, is something that uh, you definitely need. Uh, our consumption of coal is, of course, seven per day with our coal extractor. Uh, it's working overtime. Three crew assigned to it. So we still have six crew available. And uh, the lab's even been sorted. An engineer has been added to our uh, our coal station. Now, that's good. That's given us a wee bit of extra extra power output from them. 
if we actually take him off, you can see we drop down by four. So we'll add him back. He... Oh, I, I thought we actually could have put him over at the coal extractor. My bad. It seems... Oh, he lives there. Okay. He lives, he lives there. And, uh, yeah. Things are going well. We are doing very well. We have enough for a light tower. Do we have enough for a fauna trap? No. But we can certainly build the light tower. Over, over here. I never went for, I never found a rare habitat this close, or like close enough in my last tutorial. So I could have went with one of the common ones. Um, I would actually recommend for the tutorial you do go for a much closer one. Uh, but to speed up the cloning process, oh. Wow, we had a habitat even, even closer than that. Nice. Okay, par line. Get get you constructed. Still two speed at the moment. And we should have enough steel for the fauna trap the moment you are done. Ah, you require a lot of power that we don't have. For this, we're going to have to build another coal station. here how do we tunnel and it'll take three more of our guys we can of course take a few off if we want to the reason i went for the rare one is i believe in the cloning process the rare ones are uh, they help actually speed up the whole process so if you're doing it from one of the more common habitats over here um that is something to bear in mind But I want to try the rare one whilst I have you. If it speeds things up, might might be more in your favour to try and find one that's a bit further away. Research Labs gave me 12 per day. Nice. Well, I could actually spend some uh, whilst things are going on here. Coal efficiency. Um, they use 20% less coal. That, that would be good. I'll actually I'll unlock that. Biomass... They uh, consume and destroy the habitat but provide fuel. Nah, we won't really do that at the moment. Life support, uh, carbohydrate farm, we've built that. Uh, we can increase the O2 output. Okay, so that's used quite a bit of our, our research data. So uh, we'll have to generate a few more of them. Oh, we have no power line connecting you just yet. There we go. And uh, now we're consuming five a day, so we're still on a positive rate. Can I actually take one of you off? So, at a, uh, so our consumption rate is slightly higher than our daily gathering, which isn't a problem because we're actually nearing uh, the total amount of storage that we have for coal. Uh, we'll actually take one of you off and put one of you to mine all. Okay, so I'll find you here, Mr. Rare. Put a fauna trap on you. Bam. Do you need par? I don't think you need par. You might. I'm trying to remember. No, you require nothing. Which is really good. And where is our construction boys? Where are they? Wow. That was some detour you took. But yes, in talking about this game, you can just see beyond the lights and beyond the points that we know things are with the sonar beacon. There ain't much. It's very dark. Very dreary. Sometimes I forget that we're deep under the ocean. <laughs> all in all, making this rather terrifying at times. But it's the it's the sound effects and the what go, that goes on is just extreme. It's great. Okay. Select uncommon bait. Well, in this tutorial, you have learned a very important lesson. And that lesson is that <laughs> clearly you should go to uh, a more common uh, fauna trap first. 
Oops. Silly me for thinking you could go straight onto the rare. I didn't see one, so to be fair, that kind of explains a lot. And just like any tutorial, it's good that even I am learning in this process. Okay, so we'll build the more common one. Uh, we'll pretend that you didn't need to go this far. So we can disable that. In fact, we can disable the light tower because we don't need anything over here. All of a sudden, we have a lot more power. We almost did need the extra generator, but I'm glad we still have it. And with this, we get basic bait. Basic bait is unlimited, and uh, the capture of fauna will uh, will continue. That's good. Let's see if I can find any nearby uncommon one. Well, there's one there. And a point of interest. I'll probably build a light tower over here. So we can have a look-see. Let's get the light tower. Power line. Right to there. Still have enough steel. We're still getting a good bit of research as well. Uh, soon we'll be able to get a scientist, so that'll be pretty cool. Day 13. Nice, I'm moving quite uh, quite nicely through this. Uh, we'll capture three specimens. We'll speed up the time considerably. As it... Uh, does take a wee bit of a time. This one is actually on a rose fish. So I imagine the uh, the bait that you would require is the uncommon ones. Fauna captured. One rose fish. Nice. Okay, so we've found... Oh, well, this is the uncommon one that we wanted. There's some quartz. Well, actually, we'll build a fauna trap here. I just see... What all you need? Okay, I used eight more steel for that. Rain stabilizer replenishes the fauna population of a habitat within its area of effect. Ah, nice. There's a concrete extraction point. It's not, in fact, infinite. It has a uh, certain limit. There's a brine pool as well. Send exploration sub. What? What is that? Well, we'll find out very soon what that is. You may require the submarine factory. Oxygen usage almost at full. Ah. Hmm. Right. Oh, what's this? Ah, one of the many decisions. Okay. Hey, Overseer. It's Glenn Bradley's birthday today. We were hoping to throw a surprise party in their living quarters. I know it's a lot to ask, but could we take 20 food from the stockpile for the party? Now, depending on what you do, you can see the effects so give them 20 food, relations go up, give them just 10, take half the amount, um, they don't really, they don't like you or hate you for that, or you say no. <laughs> Reminds me of Frostpunk for the decision making. I will give them the 20 as it is uh, through the tutorial and you see the relations have went up. Five for the birthday party. Was that a good idea? Well, considering we produce 10 a day and consume 19, maybe it wasn't a a massively great decision as we will probably need another carbohydrate farm at that rate uh, so again something that we definitely uh, need to consider when doing anything like that uh, and we can also build back to back another oxygen factory to get uh, a wee bit more co2 for us right what about this uncommon one Ah, we can use the rose fish as bait if we wanted to. Well, we don't really need to right now. But that is something to bear in mind. Okay. Research. No, we want to go to genetics. We need a cloning lab. Okay. Uh, considering this has so far been a bit of our research wing, I suppose we could build it at the back. Connect it via the tunnel. Uh, Parline, I think you're in the zone. I think he is. Okay, we're still at speed three, and we're kind of playing through it all. Food is going down a wee bit. We're replenishing it at a decent rate, I guess. Okay. Oh, no power. We will uh, correct that. Where is our power line? Bam. See, if you do put them side by side, the tunnel will automatically connect them. I don't know if that's the optimum thing to do, but it is something you, you just can do. And, you know, if you want to... Oh, thought that was going to... Nope, that not let me build the tunnel. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of all coming together. Okay. All prior experiments, including subjects uh, who suffered from poor health, malnutrition, and could only undertake the simplest of tasks. Your work here will fix this. We can fix this. Time has come. Open the cloning interface, add the desired genomes, and begin the cloning process. Now, this is the genetic screen, and we can we can add all the genomes here. Gives us a decent chance of, of survival. For the subject, lifespan on the clone will be 46 days, and uh, max number of clones is 4. Right, now I'll show you a little trick here, just whilst you're in the tutorial, to increase your chances of them surviving. Uh, simply jump over to Research and Genetics. Uh, we can accelerate the time, but we can also add an extra slot, uh, which will be really good. Uh, there's a few other things that uh, you can add as well. But we don't need any of them right now. So with all the upgrades, we can go back to the cloning screen and you can see I can add a fifth one. That gives our chance of success. It goes from 56% to a whopping 70. Nice. Okay. So let's uh, back to speeding it up. And oh, begin cloning. Bottom left corner. Forgot, to, forgot that really, really vital part. So uh, it'll do that, and hopefully it'll be successful, and we'll be able to clone a human. I just even saying it like that's pretty mad. Um, yeah, how goes uh, the mining? Oh, okay. So the two mining subs are idle at the moment. Uh, we still kind of need steel. It's it's a pretty vital resource. So I guess we'll move the boy to somewhere else that has steel. This one has steel and coal. Okay, so we'll add two over here, and uh, we're going to take you off, and add you over to just steel. In fact, we'll do two to steel, and one to just mine all. And uh, is that the bit of steel? Yeah, that's the bit that they have uh, chosen to mine. Right, so, we're getting close to getting our, our clone, getting a wee bit of extra crew. I notice the food has pretty much stabilized, so I don't think the food production per day is completely accurate. Considering quite a few days have passed and we're not, uh, you know, we haven't lost as much food as uh, one would imagine. We should have actually been about 30 food at the at this point. I'm sure that'll be fixed at some point. Uh, let's uh, continue this. How's the cloning process? Okay, that one failed. At 70%. Need I remind you 70%? That was a bit unlucky, uh, but we can let that finish. And uh, look at our progress, uh, as you can see. So, aim for the future. That's pretty good. We got a rare one um, available, a rare habitat. Ah, yes. So we have we've cloned a guy, James McGeegan. Nice. True relation up because of the first clone. Okay. Greetings, Overseer. This is a command station once again. Congratulations on your first success. This is the first partially successful human clone in almost three years. This, however, is just the beginning. These crews still have limited lifespans, so we're going to surely need more. Expand the population to 20. To 20? We're already at 20. So we complete, did we complete that right away? Nice. See, it's because obviously the clone was successful, but we got the extra four crew members from that other task. So I imagine the tutorial's thinking whether or not you've completed that at this point. Uh, the first clones were a partial success. Mutation in the genetic sequence means their lifespans are shortened. So we need to clone a steady supply to ensure the facility remains functional. This is exactly what we or the start we were hoping for. The sacrifice you are making is great benefit for humanity. Now, we can't exactly put them to work anywhere at the moment. I mean, coal production isn't a massive issue. At all. To find resources in genetic samples, we need, we must explore. Or, that we need. Uh... Before we can build out further, we need to construct an exploration submarine to map the route. Construct a factory and utilize it to produce a s exploration sub. Okay, so you know where to go to do go, yeah, to get that exploration, and we need a submarine factory. It needs twelve steel and twelve quartz. Okay, well that's easy. We've got that. So uh, we'll build you over here. 
build the wee tunnel between you. He'll need two power. We've got more or less just about two power. Uh, can we add you as just a fourth member? Oh no, it's just swapping between the two. Ah. Right. <laughs> okay. Again. Oh, well, that's why our power isn't very... isn't doing anything. We'll turn you off. We'll turn you off. Again, we didn't need those two light towers, so that it goes to show that by just building one extra light tower and having the sonar tower on, we wouldn't have enough power once the submarine factory is built for anything else. That's why you have to be so careful on what's turned on and what's turned off. Think of it like your parents with the light bulb at home, you know, leaving it on. You've you, you got to make sure that all the little things are accounted for as they, they add up to the overall power usage in this game. Another clone, Linda Kudrathsova? Something like that. Crew member is unhoused, so we'll need one more building quarters. I don't think... Use one oxygen, one power. Okay. Well, don't I have a perfect place for you that's gonna look nice? Right here. Ah. Ah, right. I thought that would look nicer. Than it does. Tis, uh... Tis a shame. <laughs> I, I thought I had that down to a T there, but uh, I clearly don't. Yeah, I'll build them there. That looks cool. Then we can build another one there and connect it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Okay, that'll house him. Uh, food production is certainly something that is going to be a bit of an issue. We do have a bit of research data. And it's going to try and clone one more. Hmm. Right. What, what to do next? Technology tree. Population. We can go to life support. Yeah, see, the problem is that requires three crew to do that. Hmm. There's also a hospital. So you need a lot of crew. A lot of crew is uh, is required in this game. For now, though, I think I will just go to life support and get our carbohydrate farm up and running. We wouldn't even need to place it beside one. Beside another one. I, I could just place it over here. I know, I know. Just for aesthetics. <laughs> There's, there is no other reason for this. There we go. Sub factory is done. Build an exploration sub. We need 10 glass and 15. Steel. Done. And speed up the process. And I'll put it at the speed 3. It'll rally through it. We don't actually need... We have only... I would say... Oh. Critical malfunction. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Sorry there. I had to get that out of my system. Critical malfunction has occurred in the power generator. Uh, when they are not fully staffed, it'll need to be repaired. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's bad. That's quite bad. So we need to repair this. How do we get this repaired? Oh, assign mining subs? Well, this is something that did not happen. In any of my playthroughs so far. <laughs> hmm. I 
Turn the power black on. Repair, there it is. Ah, right. That makes more sense. Well, there you go. You know how to repair a building now. Can't say I... <laughs> can't say you didn't learn something completely new that even I didn't know. Uh, we've built the exploration sub. He should be sitting... Uh, is that the Knots transportation one? Where's the exploration? There he is. We sub... Subsies. Okay. Now, we can use this to do a bit of exploring. So, sonar scans reveal nearby points of interest. Well, you've already seen how we can do that. The same expedition, open the submarine command screen, select a green point of interest, and assign the crew to the submarine to start the expedition. Okay, well, depends more so on what crew I can actually afford to sacrifice. There goes the cloning. Well, I cloned four more, so we've got that. Uh, let's go to the sub machine, or uh, over here. Must assign. We're going to go to the brine pool instead. And we'll get this crew. Where's the wee sub? Where's the sub actually set? Oh no, it's just just hovering. Whoa! Did I just delete that? I did. Why did I? <laughs> why did I do that? Okay, gonna have to speed that one up. Luckily, it won't take that long to build. Okay, yeah, we're sending it over to the brine pool. I'm gonna destroy these mining relays that I have just sitting about. How's this one doing? Uh, the steel, they're almost out of steel. Coal production still ground. So again, good lesson in all this, uh, apart from not clicking the wrong button, is to... Oh, it's built. There we go. I love doing just raw raw videos. It's nice, nice that way. Where is that brine pool? So the brine pool's over here. I can assign a submarine... There we go. That's how you assign the crew member. You hit the wee plus symbol. That really got me in the first playthrough. I just, it completely, I'd done one playthrough there and it just, it left me. So, uh, let's have one crew and send the sub. Still have enough power though. This wall's good. Uh, they drop wee flares uh, that last for a wee while. It's pretty cool. Okay, brine pools are a death trap for many creatures that uh, get too close. We should investigate and see if any interesting species has fallen victim to this one. Gather data. Nice. Sometimes there's decisions. People could get injured or killed. So, uh, yeah, you might get a, a, a more a more exciting one. I had a crash sub near me one time, and that was one of the decisions. Congratulations, Overseer, and completing your introductory training. From here, we will still be sending through key objectives, but most... Pressing matters will be in your own hands. There's a button to review tutorials and uh, your HUD, which we did at the start of the game. Good luck and Godspeed. Nice. So at the moment, we have a base that is fully functional. We have our living quarters. We have our two carbohydrate farms, two oxygen generators and two coal generators. We've built, of course, uh, our submarine uh, exploration one. We could build more subs if required. Uh, research tree. We can, of course, uh, see a few extras. I will be going through over uh, many of the tutorials. I'll actually be doing a video on each and every one of them. Uh, so do stay tuned if you want to learn more on how to play Survive in the Abyss. Hope this video has helped. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.